Good morning, everybody. Look at these plasma clouds. Plasma clouds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening up over here? Wow. Good morning, everybody. It's my crazy morning skies in California. It's Chris speaking. Chris Fernald. Anyways, people been getting these strange clouds. I figured I'd jump in and uh, see what we can see. Wow, look at the colors in that thing. Unreal. Plasma clouds. I love plasma clouds. When we're seeing these clouds, they have faces and seashells and horses and dragons. What you can see in this, I don't know. It's like a, that one's like a dragon standing there with two feet and a wing on the right and a couple legs in the back. Let's see. There's his face right there, center. Right there, his face. His feet, his back feet. His wing maybe right there, maybe another wing there. Anyways, I thought you liked that. I could see stuff in the clouds like the best of you. <laughs> craziness. Look at that craziness. Anyways, good morning everybody. Welcome to Seas for All Celestial Watchers. I'll put this up this morning. You guys have a great day. It's Throwback Thursdays, Carla said. Carla said, Throwback Thursday, throw a picture up. So I'm gonna throw this little video up. God bless you people. Stay vigilant, stay strong, stay awake. Well, this is just the other night. Look at this, look at this. I caught this moon in the Southwest on the FAA cams when there was only about, not even a quarter of a moon. So, so I said, wait a minute, something's wrong here. This thing is moving too parallel with the Southwest, just parallel. Or maybe that's normal for Alaska. But you can see how fast in about 40 minutes it moves across the whole horizon. And I like the way when it starts out, I'll show you again. When it starts out, it's reddish. It's getting darker and you'll see the sun go down on the right. So watch, watch, watch. Sun's going down on the west. The moon was about there. That was earlier that day. The moon was about there because I looked out my door and I said, okay, it's all matching. Look how red it is. That's the moon. How does it look red? Okay. Now this picture, I didn't give no names on this. I'll mark them on the video, but she said, uh, What's that? And so I said, I don't know. Let's look at it. So here we go. This is the original. I brought it in the maximizer. I brought it up to about 3 or 4K. And I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. I'm filtering it. Filtering it. What are you seeing? Well, you see the laser coming out of the sun, right? That, that could be on purpose. And that could just be someone's kind of screw up an ass off. But this guy up here with like a... Uh, Hoofs for hands or hoofs for feet. I don't know, they look like hoofs. Watch, 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 watch. I'll show you. He's riding the beast. I'm serious. Now I got this little program here called Bandicam. Bandicam. It's free unless you want to buy it. It does everything that a regular filter does it, but 10 times harder. I use it for drawing on the screen live like I'm going to do. Now this thing, it looks like it has hoofs. You'll see, I'll bring it up. But what he's riding on, I just kept saying to myself, that's gotta be the beast. That's gotta be a dragon. That's gotta be the snort. Maybe he's sitting on the snout of the dragon. I don't know. But whatever it is, when they said, what is that? And I looked at the face real close and I'll show you. Give me a second, I'll bring it up. So let me go ahead and show you the beast. This little tool bandy cam gives you all the different, you know, whiteboard deal 
so when you want to circle something or draw something so this is the thing he's kind of riding on it's kind of like you see the scales back there so i don't know you can call it a dragon or you can call it a bear you can call it a beast but what's really freaked out is looking at the face of this thing that's riding it and looking at the hoofy looking arms or hands i don't know let me show you look look i'll bring it up to your face get it real close but anyways let me show you bandicam it's free if you're doing any of this kind of stuff we do it's not as good as the uh, mpixio filters but um uh, mpixio filters don't give you the option of taking a snapshot now see this thing riding this beast you getting me got a face that's right and he's got like two horse hoofs so is he uh what do they call those manatar what do they call those guys that are half horse half man and the and the laser beam coming out of the sun pretty interesting i like it it's definitely freaky out talk to you later gotta go finish my day bye god bless stay safe stay vigilant